but we're still gonna be organizing. <laughs> it is Saturday night, November 6th, and I got all of my Christmas decorations upstairs. I wasn't planning on decorating until next weekend because I have next weekend off, but I wanted to get everything up here and organize it. Hopefully that helps with the decorating process because I have a ton of stuff. Just my own stuff that I have collected over the years, stuff that I recently bought, and also some hand-me-downs that I got from Luke's parents and some other family members. So I have a lot of stuff. If you can kind of <laughs> see the situation um, behind me and I have even more stuff in our kitchen. So I thought I would just start a new vlog. Welcome to the end of 2021. I can't believe it. But um, yeah, again, here was some liquid courage. I'm tired. I worked today. It was a very long day. I came home. I got ready. I filmed. I made some thumbnails for some other videos that are going up next week. But I don't know. Sleep is for the week. So we're going to go ahead and get to some organizing. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot done tonight. Um, but hopefully I could just get a head start and at least make some piles of where I want certain decorations to go. Um, if there's any decorations that maybe I don't want anymore. Um, I'm also washing some bed sheets, um, Christmas bed sheets, which if you haven't seen my collective Christmas decor haul, I'll link that down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But I showed you what all of my bed sheets look like and a bunch of other stuff that I recently picked up. So I'm washing those right now. So I have at least an hour until those are done. I might as well get some more stuff done. So let's go ahead i'm gonna turn my christmas music back on on my little hello kitty radio and then let's get to organizing charging one of my solar Christmas decorations. So I'm really hoping he doesn't come over and knock it down. Oh god, I think he's going the other way. Oh no. He sees it. Oh. <laughs> He's probably wondering what the hell is that? Oh, going in his tree, probably. Oh, there he goes. guys it is sunday night it's a little before 8 30 at night it is sunday november 
14th, I think. Um, I've just been having a really lazy Sunday, so I thought I would just come on here and just kind of update you guys on what's been going on with me. I'm currently filming on like my actual filming camera. I usually like to vlog on my phone, um, but oh my God, I'm about to like throw my phone out the window. <laughs> I originally filmed this entire thing on my phone, but then it just like cut out because it said I didn't have any more storage left. And I've just about had it with my phone and Apple like constantly telling me my storage is almost full and like cutting me off when I'm like trying to take pictures and videos or do other things. And it's like, I feel like I am deleting things constantly, even things that like I use on a regular basis. I'm like deleting to make more room, but it constantly says it's my storage is almost full. And my settings like, oh, but if you buy this iCloud storage for $9.99 a month or whatever stupid price it is, I'm just like so over it. I honestly think it's just Apple's way of like trying to get you to buy iCloud storage. So like, even though I'm pretty sure there is like actually room on my phone, Apple is gonna manipulate my phone to make it look like I don't have any storage, so I buy into their games and buy, and buy iCloud storage, but like, I will never use iCloud storage ever again, but I'm just gonna like cut this off right here because I feel like I could complain about this on and on and on. So anyways, so here we are filming on my filming camera. I apologize, the lighting is like super orange. What's been going on with me? Oh, if you can like notice um, some marks on my lips here. I did recently get lip filler. Um, I still have a little bit of bruising. Um, so there's that, but really the main reason I wanted to come on here and vlog is because I'm just feeling like super anxious and restless tonight and I'm pretty sure the reason for that is in about a half hour I'm supposed to be taking my birth control pills, but tonight will be the first night that I will not be doing that. I have made the decision to get off my birth control. Um, before anyone says anything, I always have to say this right away because when people hear that, they're like, oh my God, like you and Luke are gonna start having babies. And like, no, that's not it at all. Um, we are not going to be trying to have children. We are still kind of on the fence if we even want children. So you may be wondering like, um, if you don't want any kids or if you're not trying, why in the hell would you get off birth control? My own mom was like, that doesn't make much sense. And that's kind of a stupid decision. So like, I get it if like, you're looking from like the outside in, maybe that's not like the smartest de decision. And I feel like that's where a lot of my anxiety is coming from is because I don't want any kids, especially right now. In the future, maybe, but right now, like, no, absolutely not. I am not ready for that. So I think that's why I have a lot of anxiety and I'm just scared that like now I'm not on anything and that could be very well a possibility that I could end up pregnant, obviously. But I I feel like I've gone back and forth about getting off birth control for years now. Um, and even my husband has told me for years to get off of it. So a little bit of backstory, I have been on birth control for a very long time, more than half my life. I think close to 15 years I've been off of it. And in that 15 years or so that I've been on it, I was only off of it for a few months. But other than that, I have taken it consistently for that amount of time, which is just crazy. Um, originally I went on it for like acne reasons. I didn't really think I needed it, but my mom felt differently. Uh, that's a whole other story in itself. Um, and so, yeah, when I was around 15, I decided that I wanted to get off of it because I just didn't have a reason to be on it. And actually when I went off of it, that was when me and Luke first started dating. Um, but at the time I was a virgin, I wasn't planning on, you know, having sex because me and Luke just started dating. So um, I decided to go off of it. Um, when I did go off of it, I did have like some symptoms, like I didn't have a period for like three or four months. Um, and one of the other main symptoms that I had was acne and like not just regular acne, like it was acne, like head to toe covered in it. Um, it wasn't like bad as like cystic acne. I feel like it was just like regular pimples, but from someone like me that 
I really never had a problem with acne. Even before I got on birth control, I really didn't have a problem with it. Um, I feel like I had the regular like preteen few breaks, breakouts near my period, things like that. But other than that, I never really had a problem with it. Um, and then that time when I got off of it, it was just everywhere and like literally everywhere even like my my body was covered in it um i think the worst part was my back like honestly i wish i would have like took a picture of it because it was kind of scary how covered my back was in acne but anyways because of um i broke out so bad i was only off of birth control for a few months um and i ended up going back on it and i have been on it ever since um i have been thinking about getting off birth control for like the last five ish years or so mainly for health reasons um i can't say like specifically like concrete that like birth control has caused like certain health problems or certain symptoms that i have and I've been having for years, but it's just always been in the back of my mind that I've been on birth control for so long. I'm so young. I've always just been worried, like, like what kind of damage is this doing to my body? Like, I don't know, my mind just went crazy. And I feel like for a long time, I've been having various symptoms, um, like low sex drive, mood swings, depression, anxiety. And I feel like even though I've been on birth control for so long, I feel like recently, like within those like five years, I feel like those symptoms have been getting like worse and worse, especially my mood swings. So just kind of with all of that, you know, just my mind constantly going, um, I just wanted to get on, get off birth control for such a long time and my husband has always like supported that he told me that like i should have gotten off of it years ago um and we could have just used other forms of protection when it comes to you know preventing pregnancy and things like that but i was always way too scared to get off of it because of pregnancy because i didn't want to get pregnant and this was kind of around the time where i was like a 1000% sure that I never wanted to have kids ever. So that just, so the thought of like becoming pregnant literally terrified me. And I would just constantly make up excuses on why I shouldn't get off birth control. So first it started with college. Like this kind of came around, um, you know, me first thinking about and talking about it with my husband or fiance at the time. Um, about getting off birth control. I was in nursing school at the time, so that was my first excuse. Um, I just told myself and my husband, I was like, okay, let me finish college and then I'll get off of it. Um, and then graduation rolled around. And then I was thinking like, well, like I just graduated, like let me get a little, you know, more comfortable with the idea of being a nurse, get a little bit more established in my career, things like that. I did that. A year, year and a half passes. And I was thinking this was around the time that me and my husband were planning our wedding. And so that was my next excuse. Um, I told myself, okay, after our wedding, after we get married, then I'll get off of it. And then after that happened and with COVID and we had to like reschedule our wedding and I knew we were gonna have a second wedding the next year. Um, and also during that time we were, becoming more and more serious about buying a house. So then that was my next excuse. Like, okay, now we're married, but now we wanna get a house. So once we get, we find a house, we get into a house, then I'll get off of it. And you see where I'm going here? Like it just kept like going and going and I just kept coming up with an excuse after an excuse after an excuse. And then it came to earlier this year, I went to the doctors and when I was there, I completely forgot to ask for a prescription renewal, like on my pills, completely forgot all about it. At the time, wasn't really too worried about it. I hopped onto like my um, like health account page. On there, it, you, it has the option where you can like request refills or like a new prescription. Um, I've done it in the past. I've gone to my doctor long enough where she has done that before. Um, that if like I needed a new script for my pills, I would just put the request in online and she would approve it um, without me having to come in for, you know, like the regular um, 
physical exam. So yeah, since I've done it before, didn't think any it was any big deal, I went online, I submitted that request, and for whatever reason, she didn't approve it. Um, I thought it was weird because like I said, I've done it before. I was literally just at the doctor's. I just forgot to, it just completely slipped my mind that like my script was about to expire and I just forgot to ask for one. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, they weren't approving my new script for birth control for another year. And so after that happened, I was actually gonna call my doctor's office to get, you know, a new script for it. And right before I was gonna call them, I was like, wait a minute. That's when the, all the past few years and all the past excuses I used came into my mind. And I just told myself, I was like, okay, like enough of the excuses. I don't know, I kind of felt like this year it was just like a feeling or like a sign that like, okay, like this is the time to get off of it. And immediately I jumped to my next excuse, which was our second wedding. I knew that I for sure wanted to be on my birth control through our wedding that we had this year. Um, because like I said, the last time I went off of it, I broke out in acne all over my body. And of course, like I didn't wanna, you know, have a bunch of acne for our wedding this year. So I counted all of the packs of pills that I had and I found that I had enough to get through to now, which is like beginning middle of November, which I kind of felt like was another sign that I had, almost just, I had just enough pills to get us through our wedding and then a couple weeks and I would be completely done. And I just thought that was interesting because that was my like one other excuse, the last excuse that I could ever use. So with all that happened, I just took that all as a sign that this was the time to do it. I decided to talk to my husband about it one more time. And of course he was totally fine with it. He just told me like, I told you to get off of them years ago. So yes, get off of them now. And of course I still had the same fears and I still right now have the same fears of pregnancy and even just like health in general because I did like a bunch of research online of other people's experience that have been on birth control for so many years and then getting off of it just kind of like what they experienced like symptoms wise and I found a couple people like talking about how their birth control, like all the hormones in it or just whatever it had to do with it just covered up so many health problems that they didn't realize they had until they got, until after they got off birth control. And so that's kind of been another fear of mine, like, oh shit, like once, now that I'm off birth control, like what is my body gonna uncover? Like, am I going to experience the insane acne breakouts again? Am I gonna have any issues with my thyroid or other hormone imbalances? Or am I gonna have issues with my weight, whether it's losing weight or gaining weight? Like, I have a lot of fears, honestly. And I feel like it kind of sounds ridiculous how like scared I am right now. Like, I, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't feel this way, but I do. And I think that's why I'm just having like such a hard time tonight, but yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at and I haven't really made a plan after that. <laughs> like, I don't know if I will ever get back on the oral birth control pill again. Um, maybe I'll look at other options down the road. I know they're coming out with more like non-hormonal birth control options that don't contain any hormones in them. Like maybe that will be the option down the road, but I think for right now, we're gonna take other precautions. I know everyone's gonna have their own opinions in regards to that. Like as far as like condoms and preventing pregnancy, I've been looking into more of like the um, monitoring my body temperature to predict like ovulation and stuff like that. I know a lot of people say that doesn't really work very good. Um, and I also have like an app, I have the Flow app. so. That is how I monitor like when my periods are gonna come, when I'm ovulating, um, things like that. Um, I'm probably just gonna use a combination of all of those things um, and just kind of go from there. Um, I've also been praying about it a lot and me and my husband were kind of on the same page that like if God wants us to have a baby, then it's gonna happen. 
and that's been kind of helping me keep a little bit more calm about this that if that is what God wants for our lives right now then it's going to happen no matter what we do so um yeah that's kind of where I'm at right now and we'll just kind of see how this goes I'll definitely try to like document my journey I guess you could say I'm not going to make it like a dedicated video or anything like that but just in my vlogs and stuff um if you guys have any questions you definitely can ask those down in the comments for the rest of the night I'm not really doing too much I really just want to like keep myself busy just because like I said I just feel really like anxious and restless and I just can't sit still and if I try to sit still, it just makes me more anxious. So um, I don't work tomorrow, so I don't really need to be in bed at a certain time, which is like the best feeling ever. Like, don't you love that? Like when you don't have to work the next day and as it gets later in the night, you're just like, no care in the world. But yeah, one thing that I do need to get done, which I will probably just kind of like vlog for you guys right now. I do have, um, let me see if I can show some packages down there. Um, I did get all of my Christmas shopping done, which I'm very like proud of myself. Usually I start Christmas shopping like way in advance, which I didn't really do too much this year, but um, I did a majority, I would say about like 98% of my Christmas shopping I completed within the last few days. Um, I did order some stuff on Amazon, so that's what those packages are. Um, they're not all Christmas gifts in there. I have some other, um, storage items. I bought all new bins and other things to store all of our decorations in and some of our other stuff that we have in our storage room just to kind of make things a little bit more organized because right now everything is just in like random bins and everything's just like scattered all over the place because the bins I do have are just like mixed match and were hand-me-downs from like Luke's family and my family and I have like some bins that are just like way too small that they like nothing fits in them I mean you could fit some stuff in them but like I don't know I kind of just wanted to be a little bit more organized and get bigger bins so I can put like all of my like Halloween decorations in one bin and have dated, dedicated bins for like all of my Christmas decorations and things like that. So um, I went to Target and got a bunch of like just those like big plastic bins. Um, and then on Amazon, I ordered like specific like Christmas decoration storage bins like of ornaments and wreaths and a huge like bag to put like your Christmas tree in and things like that. So I'm probably not going to like work on organizing our storage room until probably after the holidays um, once I get all of, like my Christmas decorations down um, and then that way once all of those are down then I can go in and start kind of organizing everything how I want them to be stored. And speaking of Christmas decorations, I did decorate for Christmas over this past weekend, so that's all done. I did film a dedicated decorate with me, so that of course will be up on my channel probably before this vlog, so um, I'll make sure to link that for you guys so you can go ahead and check that out. And yeah, so let's go ahead and just decorate some Christmas presents. <laughs>
guys it is sunday early evening it is november 21st and i thought i would just start vlogging for you guys because i am about to make a pumpkin pie for the first time <laughs> just because i wanted to i just really wanted to like get all the ingredients try to make it myself i love pumpkin pie it just reminds me of the holidays and with thanksgiving coming up i'm not making it for thanksgiving i'm just making it just because <laughs> and it's a Sunday. I'm bored. Um, I'm not really doing anything else so I thought I would just go ahead and make it tonight. Put on a Christmas movie. My Christmas lights are on. Like it's just the whole thing. So I thought I would go ahead and vlog the process and also my reaction. We just finished up eating like a late lunch early dinner so I thought since we already ate might as well make some dessert. So we'll definitely be doing a taste test at the end of this video. So that's about it. Let's go.
I just cut myself a piece. Um, the directions I was going off of said to like leave it sit and cool for at least two hours. It's been like an hour and a half, a little more than that. Um, but I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm gonna try it now. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it tastes, but like the crust definitely fell apart. It almost looks like the crust didn't like fully bake. I hope I didn't screw it up by spraying some Pam on it. I did I did that just a little bit so it wouldn't stick to it. Directions didn't call for that, but like in my own mind, I was just thinking that that would be helpful. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe I was supposed to let it go a little bit longer. But again, the directions I was going off of said, do 40 to 50 minutes and then like stick a knife in it. If it comes out clean, then it's done. That's what I did. And that was around like the 40 minute mark. And I even let it go like a few minutes over that. I don't really know, but like the color looks a little bit questionable. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but I guess we're just gonna try it and hopefully we don't get sick from it. I mean, it's good. It tastes like a pumpkin pie, but like, oops. <laughs> Trying to like show you like the crust, like it looks very <laughs> doughy. I'm still eating it. I don't know if that's bad or not, but damn it. How do other people do this and make it look so easy? If you guys can bake, let me know. Like, is it because I spray pan or even though like doing like the knife test, the pie was done, but maybe it actually wasn't done. Like, should I have let it go longer? Like, you're gonna have to let me know. Or do I actually need to like put it in the fridge and let it cool down that way? Uh, maybe I'll do that. I don't really know if that's gonna make a difference, but it's okay. It's definitely not the best I've had. I tried to put a little bit more like pumpkin spice in it than even than what the direction said. I put a little bit more in, but I feel like the flavor isn't like perfect. Like maybe I should have added more like salt or something to it. I feel like, I mean, pumpkin pie is mushy, but like, I feel like it's a little extra mushy. See, like this crust looks pretty good. I mean, it still kind of fell apart, which was another one of my clue. Like maybe it wasn't done all the way. Alrighty. Well, that was my review of my first attempt of making a pumpkin pie. Damn, I really wish I was better. I was so excited about it and like the direction seemed like so easy. So that's my night. I hope your guys' night is going a little bit better. Thank God I wasn't planning on bringing this to Thanksgiving because I would be so embarrassed. Alrighty then, I will talk to you all later. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning. It is December 3rd. It's a little before 930. I am currently editing my Christmas decorate with me video for this year. Oh, it has been a process. Um, my whole plan was to upload my Christmas decor shopping haul, which did go up um, Monday of this week, which will obviously be up by the time this vlog goes up. So I'll make sure to link these videos down in the description box for you guys. Um, but anyways, my whole plan is I was gonna upload my shopping haul on Monday and then upload my Decorate With Me on Friday. I always upload my videos at 9 a.m. I'm still editing my Decorate With Me and it is 9.30. <laughs> I have been up editing this video since 6.30 this morning. I got up at like 6.15 so I could get this video edited and uploaded for you guys. I'm just proud of myself that I actually had the willpower to get up. Usually when I have like things that I need to get done, whether it's dealing with YouTube or other things, and like I keep telling myself I need to get up early, I usually just like keep snoozing my alarm and don't get up for like another few hours. But I actually got up this morning and I'm so proud of myself. Um, I'm almost done editing it. I have the voiceover and everything else edited. I just have to add the music and then export it and then upload it. So it'll be up today for sure. I am not giving myself the option of not uploading it today. Um, it'll just be up 
later than I usually upload my videos. Um, but another reason I need to get this video up today is because me and Luke are actually going out of town for the weekend. Um, me and his whole family are actually going um, basically for like a little weekend getaway up north for his sister's birthday. Um, I don't, I wasn't really planning on vlogging just because it's like family time and I don't know, I'm weird about like pulling out my camera during stuff like that. Yeah, we are going up north. We've never been there before. Um, it was snowing a little bit here this morning and I'm assuming because we're going more north, they usually get a lot more snow than us. But yeah, that's basically it. I am starving. I'm about to pee my pants, but I told myself I am not getting up out of this chair until my video is uploading, so. I'm gonna get back to that because I'm really starting to get like hangry. Yeah, I thought I would just kind of like update you guys all what's going on. I feel like I haven't really vlogged in a while except for like when I got my nails done. But um, yeah, anyway, so I will talk to you all a little bit later.